Hi guys, it's Marky. How's it going, everybody? I finally found Hot Wheels D case for 2022. I can't believe it. I, I got a bunch of new cars. Let me show you. Um, let me remind you guys, um, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. And thanks everyone who's been supporting my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. We're gonna see so many cars now. So I'm gonna show you, I just got this uh, Mazda. We're gonna review everything on the Mazda. And check this out. Got another beauty here in green. We're gonna look at all the details on these. I got a Corvette. And another beauty in red, the Nissan. Also got this uh, Mercedes Benz in red. Check this pickup truck out. The Studebaker is so awesome. It looks really good. Got another pickup truck. And wow, look at this. Haha, -ha, Toyota. And a Bronco. All right, we're gonna check out all of these now in detail. Let me move all the cards out of the way. I had a ball here opening packages. Let's start with this one right here. First one up is the Mercedes-Benz. Here's the card. And you can see back here, it does say D case on the back of the card. And the uh, copyright on them is 2021, but they are new for 2022 models. Uh, some have been recolored. Um, I think all these are actually recolors. None of these are brand new models. They've just been recolored for the year. Mercedes-Benz 500E from the factory fresh series. It looks so good in red. Look at this. Looking really nice. Here's a top view. We do have the mirrors on the side, the giant windshield wiper. Four doors, all the handles are painted over in red. We do have some nice five spokes in chrome. Great looking on the back end. Front end as well, Not lots of details. Let's look at those details real, real close. Look at the lights, how good they look. They got little windshield wipers on them. <clears throat> the grill looks beautiful too with the black and the silver. We do have the Mercedes-Benz badge right there. And this looks like a spot for a license plate right in front, but there's no numbers or letters on it. And look at that. Nice spoiler, all die cast. The die cast comes all the way down. Beautiful. Nice five spokes in chrome. Looks like all the windows are rolled up, but you can see inside. It is a left side driver, just like we drive in America. And again, all the four doors have the windows rolled up. And here's the back end. Had the exhaust on the bottom here. Two pipes showing in the corner there. And we got the Hot Wheels logo. Looks like it's right on the license plate. There's no plate there drawn in, but uh, I guess that would be right on the license plate. Maybe the plate is supposed to be red. We have the 500E markings right there. A nice badge, Mercedes-Benz badge. And you can see the brake lights underneath. And then on top, we have the amber for the parking lights and the white reverse lights. A very clean looking Mercedes-Benz. We have gasoline access on the back uh, right fender. It looks really clean, really, really nice. I'm really happy with the way the Mercedes looks in red. This one was previously out in black and in silver or gray. Beautiful Mercedes. Next up, let's check out this one right here. The uh, the Mazda. This one's a Hot Wheels Mazda RX-7 Hot Wheels Japan Import Series. Number one of 10 from that series. They don't come in order, so you get them as they come out in whatever order they come out. It looks really good with these wheels. Nice blue color. It's got the metallic flakes going on there and you see the lighter blue also in that metallic. It's kind of like ghost stripes, right? But you can see the metal flakes right through there. Oh wow, it looks like I got a little scratch on it. And the Mazda name right in front. No other colors, just the Mazda and those stripes. A lot of stripes there, you just can't see unless you look really good because they're like the ghost stripes. And then on the side, we do have some more stripes. The Hot Wheels logo right here on the fender. Check out all the sponsors on there. 
all blue on the back end. A lot of details, but just painted all in blue. And we do have the nice, the nice wing back here. The exhaust is on the right side on this one, just one single pipe. Nice. Let's see how he looks next to <clears throat> the Mercedes Benz. Wow, what a nice uh, pair of new Hot Wheels. Oh, wow, look at that. Left side driver on the Mazda. Got a steering wheel on the left there. No mirrors on the side for the Mazda neither. And does it have windshield wipers? No windshield wipers, just the vents there on the hood or right by the hood. And here's the base on the Mercedes Benz. Kind of plain. A little more details on the Mazda. Not too many, but just a few. There we go. How do they look so far, guys? You like these? And have you found them? Have you found these already? They finally arrived. They finally arrived. They're in Florida, guys. They're in Florida now. DKs has arrived. Next up, let's check out another Japan Imports. We have the custom 2001 Acura Integra GSR. A pretty long name. The Acura Integra for short. Here it is in a beautiful green color. We can see already right off the bat, there's no color for the lights in the front. And there are no mirrors. See the mirrors there? There are no mirrors on the side. All right, there are the graphics. It's a beautiful card. It did great on the artwork there. Beautiful. I love the color. Very nice. Left side driver. Again, no mirrors on the side. No windshield wipers. We do have these vents here on the hood. No colors on the front end. Just all green. And we see the grill showing through on the bottom here in plastic. Looks like it might be part of the... Uh, this plastic or the interior color, I don't know. Looks a little darker than uh, than the interior, so I'm gonna think it's probably this here. And you can see this one is a left side driver. Two door vehicle, of course, and we do have the handles on the doors painted over in the car color, which is a metallic green color. Looks like it has like silver flakes in there. Gasoline access on the Acura is on the left. And we have the HKS, a bunch of other nice logos there. Cool stripes here on the bottom. Check it out. Nice black double spoke wheels with a chrome stripe. A little ring around there in chrome. Oh, wow. Look at the back end. Nice details on the back. The Acura badge. We have the lights. Look how cool they look. You can see the reverse lights there, too. A big, big, big exhaust pipe right there wow look at that that looks cool and we do have the hot wheels logo right there on the license plate no uh, windshield wiper back here we do have a nice wing very cool another nice new hot wheels 2022 recolor these are looking so good so good so, by the way, guys, these are $0.94 cents each at Walmart. And that's where I found them today. So, they are at Walmart for $0.94 cents a piece. Great cars. Great cars. And I have a bunch more to show you. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. Okay, here we go. A nice Corvette. Another DK Spine. This one is from the Retro Racer series. Check out the Retro Racers logo. It's pretty cool. 6 of 10 in the series. The 69 Copo Corvette. And it's number 79. Of 250. The 69. 1969 Copo Corvette. Which means Central Office. Is it purchase order? I can't remember. Central Office something something. <laughs> I can't remember now. Sorry. Sorry I even brought it up. <laughs> but... But these are like special order cars that you would order from the central office of the uh, brand. Nice uh, Corvette. Let's check out the markings on the base. 69 Copo Corvette. Copyright 2010. Plastic white base. 
we see the exhaust coming out on both sides right under the door and right in front of the back tire we do have bigger taller tires in the back and a really nice color on this uh on this copo corvette in blue it's like a glossy blue and then we have the red and white or kind of like i think it's orange and white uh, stripes first i thought it was red but it's it's orange you can see the red next to it definitely orange a really nice copo there's a 69 for the year the car was uh, made and it's a left side driver no mirrors on the side of this corvette we do have some nice scoop happening here on the hood looks amazing let me bring it closer there we go now we can see the hood appreciate all the little details wow look at that front end that looks so awesome and there we see the little bumps for the lights a couple of lights in the front there possibly in the corner too there's a grill and looks like a little spoiler down here this part is all plastic the black it looks like it's connected to the interior and on the left side driver on the left side we have the uh the base showing through as the floorboard with the pedals in there and on the other side it's just black and we have the old school bucket seats with no headrest. There's a little rollover bar back there. On the back, you can see more details, the vents, the gasoline access, and the lights not painted in and no license plate. Michelin Man, Benedict, 69 Hot Wheels. And there's a Hot Wheels logo. And the Chevy logo. Wow, looks so cool. What a nice Copo. This is really nice. Again, 94 cents at Walmart. And uh, let's see how... Ooh, knocked over my camera, guys. Sorry about that. Took you for a ride. <laughs> Check out the beautiful cars. Got the red and green, kind of like the Christmas colors. We got the blue. Man, these are looking so good. So which one's your favorite so far? You like the Corvette, the uh, Mercedes, the Acura, Integra, or... The Mazda RX-7. Don't forget, guys, subscribe to the channel. Hit that little red button down there. Subscribe. You don't want to miss out. I have lots of videos all the time. Diecast car videos. We've got a bunch more cars to look at. Let's see. What else did I find? Check this out. Another Hot Wheels from D-Case. Beautiful Hot Wheels Green Speed Series. The Nissan Leaf Nismo RC02. Now, we saw this one not long ago in silver. And now for 2022... It's out in this beautiful red recolor. The Nissan with the wing in the back. Blacked out wheels. Wow, looks good. Look at all that glass on top, guys. Check it out. And wow, look at this. Really creative stripes there. What does that say? Nissan Intelligent Mobility. There's a Nissan badge right in the front there. We have a plastic... Spoiler in the front, and right there it says Nisa, Nissan, Nissan Nismo, the blacked out double spokes, Nissan Intelligent Mobility again, and wow, the back is just all plain red, do have a big wing there, what about the base, the Nissan Leaf Nismo Hot Wheels, made in Malaysia, copyright 2020, on this one beautiful how they come up with these uh designs check out the red accents really nice really nice so cool this side is all red and this side this side has more graphics so different look for each side you can display it like this or display it like this whatever you prefer looking really cool the Nissan Nismo. Let's see how he looks next to all these other uh, cars that we have so far. Wow, look at that. A couple of red, a couple of blue, one green. It's getting crowded here. <laughs> these are so awesome. Man, I'm so excited to have some new Hot Wheels. Been going 
hunting so much, looking for Hot Wheels, looking for the new ones. And uh, finally, finally, they're here. <laughs> now, of course, I got there late. I didn't get the uh, treasure hunt. I didn't get the uh, super. I don't know if anyone found it. I would like to know if anybody had found the super treasure hunt, but there was no one there. And while I was looking through the pegs, um, I forgot to... I forgot to shoot video. I was so excited grabbing cars and looking through all the cars and just like, wow, look at this one. Wow, look at this one. Taking it all in that I never, never uh, took out my uh, camera to to shoot footage for you. So maybe next time I go. All right, so far we have some, some nice ones. Don't forget, guys, subscribe to the channel. Hit that red button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, very important, got to support the channel. And next up, let's check out this one. This is a nice recolor of the 63 Studebaker Champ from the Hot Wheels Hot Truck Series. Beautiful graphics on it. And man, in person, it looks so good. Look at that. Now, they didn't give us any colors for the lights in front. That's the only thing. But look how much detail or colors we have all around on the roof there. Look at that. On the sides. The sides are just very, very colorful. We have the gold and the red checkered flag on top, some gold checkered flag over here, more gold, possibly orange. Looks like more like an orange color. This looks red over here and the interior looks red. And this one is a left side driver. No mirrors on the side. We do have the little corner windows and the regular windows are rolled down. And the glass in front is kind of like curved, curved glass. Very cool. No windshield wipers. We do have a blacked out front end with the grill showing through and a spoiler and plastic on the bottom. The bumper is all die cast. And we do have the blacked out spokes. I call them the star spokes. That's, I mean, the star wheels. They're really like five spokes. And not sure. I thought this one might be a tall tire, but I think they're the same size tires, same size wheels. And we do have a little ring. Or a little chrome stripe, as I like to always call it. Chrome stripe around on the wheel. Nice 63 logo on the door. The white uh, square with some black outline. Hot Wheels logo right over it in red. That looks really nice. Gold right behind it. A couple of fat stripe and a couple of uh, stripes on the top and bottom. Then the orange. Man, so much going on. Another what looks like a gold stripe on the top. Pinstripe. From the front all the way to the back to where the word Studebaker starts or the name Studebaker. Goodyear logo over here. Wow, look at that. We have the Hearst, the Comp. And look at that. Blacked out in the back, no name on the gate. The lights are there, but there's no colors and no license plate. And then the bed is covered up with a nice red cover. We do have something going on there. don't know what that is. And a little wing. I have a little wing right there. Little wing on the back of the Studebaker. But again, no mirrors. So weird. Tall bucket seats on this uh, Studebaker. Look at that. Really tall bucket seats. Now, this comes as a super treasure hunt as well. So this is the uh, casting that is being used for D-Case for the super. So that one is really hard to find. It's a different color, different wheels on it. It'll look totally different. So if you see a black one and you see a different one, that'll be the Super. All right, guys, good luck to you. I hope you can find it. I haven't been able to find it. Wow, what a beauty. So now we have a bunch more cars here. What do you think, guys, so far? Any favorites so far? All right, check this out. Wow, look at that Ford with the Goodyear livery on it. Nice blue color. Check out the mirrors on the side. The actual casting doesn't have any mirrors. And uh, the spokes that are drawn there look to be the same ones that come with the vehicle. The Ford badge on the car doesn't show the blue colors or anything like that. It's a 2009 Ford F-150, by the way, from the Hot Wheels Metro Series, number 3 of 10, 29 for the year. Here it is. Beautiful. Man, that, that blue looks so good with that Goodyear logo there. 
awesome. Here's a top view. Let's get it a little closer. There we go. You can see all the ridges on the roof there. The interior is kind of funny, all chrome. <laughs> and the running boards are all chrome. The bed is mostly chrome, some die cast in blue in there. No mirrors. No mirrors on the side and no blue for the Ford badge right in front, but it does have the badge there drawn in. No uh, no name and no, no tampo. I guess that they could have stamped a tampo on there. We do have a nice grill though and nice bumper in chrome. Check out the wheels. They look so awesome on this one. Yeah, looking good. Beautiful metallic blue color. You can see all the flakes in there. And the Goodyear livery in yellow. Ford badge, Hot Wheels badge right there. Four-door vehicle. All the handles are painted over in blue. Left side driver with a chrome steering wheel. All right. Hey, we got lights in the back. We got the brake lights and we have the Goodyear winged uh, sandals and foot right there. We do have the chrome base on the bottom there. Little spot for the license plate. But the plate is missing. Here are the markings on the base. Made in Malaysia, 2009 Ford F-150 P47 stamp right there. This one was copyrighted in 2008 and again in 2012. And we see the exhaust heads, one pipe to each side and points out right behind the back tire. Little exhaust right there. Pretty cool. You see these are the exhaust pipes heading towards the back. And here they continue. There's the Hot Wheels logo right on the uh, base there. Very nice. It looks awesome. I love it. it looks really cool. So how do you like this one? Like the uh, truck? Pickup truck? And we got a couple more here. Oh, wow. Check it out. Here's the Toyota Land Cruiser 80 in new colors. The Land Cruiser. This one's from the Mud Stud series. I think that's a new series for this year. Mud Studs. Don't remember that ever. And the Mud Studs. The Mud, <laughs> mud Studs. The Mud Studs have muddy tires. As you can see, they come in the brown color. Wow, look at that. Nice cream color. There's a the view from the top. See the mirrors on the side. And we do have the windshield wipers, sunroof. There's a the spare. We do have some ridges on the top there. You can see the water nozzles right there. A couple of vents. A darker interior with a left side driver. And it has one of those pedestal steering wheels, which are so weird. I don't know. Don't like those that much. And we have some gold stars on the wheels there. And a gold ring. Check it out. Looks like a bomb. The Rays. Overland. Yokohama. Page RS. A number 1.5 there on the door. JLU. Kind of reminds me of Johnny Lightning. <laughs> the Johnny Lightning universe. Toyota. There's the name. And there are the lights painted in with a lot of different colors. Nice depth to them. And check it out. I have the side, side lights and the front lights. And then we have these really great details for the lights in the front. This is all plastic here in the front. The base is plastic, of course. Metal body on this one. Again, the big giant mirrors on the side look great. Very cool. And nice stripes here. I like these. And that stripe on the bottom. Very cool. We do have this exhaust happening or is that no that's like a it's like a step little step up there just realize that it does have the mud flaps in the front and in the back mud flaps so you see those mud flaps there and here's the exhaust big pipe on the right side there only on one side and you can see it right there <clears throat> very cool man it looks good
<laughs> so awesome. Nice to play with. Fun, fun to play with the wheels. All right, we got more. We got more. Let's check it out. Let's see what else we got. All right. This one's from the Baja Blazer series, number 74. Here's the card. Again, the Hot Wheels D case. And another reminder, guys, subscribe to the channel. Just want to remind you guys because I always forget to say that. Custom Ford Bronco. Yeah, I need you guys to subscribe, support the channel. All you got to do is hit that red button, subscribe. It's free. Nobody knows you subscribed. It's all anonymous, but it does show you support the channel, guys. So thank you very much. And YouTube will send you more of my videos or suggest them to you if you want to check them out. I do have a lot of videos. Almost a thousand videos, I think. So you can check them out if they're offered to you. If you like the title or, or what I'm talking about that day. If you like the cars I'm showing is what I mean. So here we go. Let's get the name again. This is the custom... Ford Bronco, that's the official name of this casting. I think the last one, we had an orange one lately, not too long ago recently, and we had a blue one. And now we have a red one with a purple top and a purple cage or rollover bar, black spare tire in the back. All the red here is all die cast. This top is plastic. The spare tire is plastic. And it does have some really nice graphics on the side. Beautiful tampo work. The Ford badge, bell, 068 on the door. The Baja Blazers series down here, BF Goodrich. And check out the muddy tires on this one. And he has these uh, kind of like black or, yeah, I think they're black wheels with the gray in the middle. Like, I mean, the, the mud in the middle there. There's the front end. Beautiful lights on top, so we have the light bar and the 068 right on the hood as well. Really nice black and white stripes on the hood. Wow, a lot of nice graphics on this one. Very colorful. So we got the red, the black, the white, the purple, some other little colors probably happening there. A lot going on. It is a left side driver. No glass on this one, by the way. It's all open. Um, it looks like it's all black interior. Big seats there. Couple of seats. Very, very nice. Man, a really cool Bronco. <laughs> Custom Bronco. Custom. Ford Bronco, beautiful. Man, it looks good. So now I have an orange, uh, blue, and a red. All right, cool. All right, guys. So leave a comment. Let me know which one you like the best. Which one's your favorite? We have the Mazda, Mercedes, the Copo Camaro. We have the Studebaker, the Acura Integra, the Nissan Nismo. Ford F-150, the Ford Bronco, and the Toyota. What's the name of this one again? I forget. The Toyota, is it Land? Toyota, Toyota, Toyota. Land Cruiser, yeah. It is Land Cruiser. Toyota Land Cruiser 80, number 80. Wow, these are so cool. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And uh, always like the video, comment on the video, Subscribe to the channel, and if you can, share this video. Just click the share button to your Facebook or to your social media. That always helps the channel so much. Other people will see the video. Thank you, guys. I appreciate all your help and all your support. I hope you enjoyed this video, man. I hope you guys had fun checking out all the new DK spines I had today. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.